Hey guys, welcome back to Yellen App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Valorant error code VAN185. So if you're interested, let's get started. In this case, if you're having problems with Valorant here and you're getting the VAN185 error, well, in this case, there are a few things that you could do here to probably solve the issue. So one of the odd things that you could do here is to basically restart your PC. Sometimes doing a quick restart here can solve a lot of issues. So that's the first solution that you can try. The second thing we want to do here is you want to make sure that you have the latest updates on your computer. So that includes Windows Update. Now, in this case, you want to go to the very bottom here of your screen and you want to go and search for the following, which in this case is going to be update. Now from here, click on check for updates. Now, what we need to do next here is you want to make sure that you click on check for updates. And if there are any updates, make sure to install them. Now, this might take a few minutes, so in this case, you can go and play other games while you're waiting. Now, once the update is complete, you can go ahead and restart your PC and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you want to do here is you want to make sure that you also have the latest update on your GPU, which in this case, depending on your GPU, you might want to visit your driver. So in my case, I actually have NVIDIA. So in this case, you want to go to search here. Let's just type in NVIDIA GeForce here, since this is what I'm using for updating my GPU. And what we need to do here is we need to look for the update button. Usually on my driver or in GeForce experience, what, we, uh, what I do here is I will go to drivers. And usually if you see a download button here, you go and click on download and wait for the update to complete. In this case, once the update is complete, go ahead and restart your PC and see if that solves the issue. Now, another thing that you can do here is to basically set a right clank here to admin. So how do you do that? Well, what you need to do is you want to locate right clank here want to right click on it and you want to go ahead and click on the option that says properties. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to go to the compatibility and in here, what we need to do is we need to click on the option that says uh, run this program as administrator, click on apply and click on OK to apply your changes. Once we've done that, go ahead and run right client here and see if that actually solves the issue. Now another thing that you might want to do here is to basically uh, reinstall Vanguard. So sometimes reinstalling Vanguard can solve a lot of issues. So in this case, you want to go to the bottom left here and you want to go and type in the following, which is going to be apps. And from here, let's go and click on add or remove programs. Now, what we need to do is we need to look for Vanguard. So you could either search for it manually or you could just use the search this list option. Just type in Vanguard, click on it and click on uninstall. Now, once you've uninstalled Vanguard here, what you need to do next is you want to open up right client you want to open up or in this case run Valorant and that will actually force you to install Vanguard again on your PC. Now in this case just complete that and see if that solves the issue. Now the last thing that you could do here or the uh, second to the last thing that you could do here is to verify your file integrity. So in order for you to do that you need to go to your account at the top right go ahead and click on it. You want to go to settings and in here you want to select Valorant. Now what we need to do is we just need to click on repair and wait for it to complete. So usually this might take a few minutes and once it's actually complete, you can go and run Valorant again and see if that solves the issue. Now, finally, the last thing you could do here to solve this problem is to basically uninstall or reinstall Valorant. Now, same thing, you wanna go to your apps here, go to add or remove programs, and you wanna go ahead and make sure that you close right client here because you won't be able to uninstall Valorant if it's open. Also, yeah, make sure to fully close it. Open up your uh, task manager if you have to. But in this case, just close right client in the background itself. So usually it's going to be in the R section. So right client, go ahead and close that. Now in here, what we need to do is we need to look for Valorant. So just type in Valorant, click on it, click on uninstall, and we'll just wait for it to complete. Now once it's actually uh, uninstalled, you can go ahead and open up the your right client again, reinstall again, uh, Valorant, and see if that solves the issue. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.